What we've got here is a buffalo lawn that was laid nine or ten months ago. When the lawn was laid, what it was laid on was a product called Turf Underlay. So you can see this is quite a sandy mix. So the idea of this is it's got some compost in it to give it some water holding a bit of body. But it's got quite a lot of sand for the drainage. Because what you want under almost all of the turf varieties is a free draining zone that still holds some moisture obviously, but a free draining zone so that can deep root down into it, get a nice solid root ball, well not a solid root ball, but get a good root growth underneath. Um, so it needs to be able to stay out of the wet weather, if you like. So when you put this stuff down, you're trying to avoid hollows. I don't think you can quite see it here, but there's a couple of hollows where I suspect the subsoil we've dug down, or the, the people that laid it, dug down a little bit too deep into the subsoil, and the water I suspect is pooling there. So there are a couple of spots around here that stay a bit wet, and the turf is slightly struggling. So that, it's all water related. So you need that water to get away because that's how, you know, that's what the turf prefers. So this product, turf underlay, is what you lay the turf on. You put it down about 50 mil, you know, five centimetres deep. Um, what you want to make sure is that the subsoil is graded so that the water runs off. So when the water gets through this product, you've then got to get it away from the site because otherwise you're basically building a bit of a dam under here, the roots will get down in and then you'll have disease problems. So you want all the water to, to sort of drain off uh, and you want a free draining subsoil which is turf underlay.